All right, so what I've decided is to do a series of videos on quick tips. And this is the first one in a series. And it's videos that are more uh, information only than a repair uh, procedure. And some people may actually find them more interesting than uh, the repair videos because it applies to uh, many vehicles usually. Um, and we're going to start with this one today. It's a 2005 Grand Marquis. And he's got a condition that most of you probably do, and you may notice it and may freak out about it. So many of you may be going to do an oil change on your vehicle, especially after this harsh, harsh winter. And uh, you pull your cap off, start getting your stuff set up. You pull it off, and then you notice this. It looks like vanilla pudding. Maybe butterscotch. Uh, no, do not eat it. It's uh, very bad stuff. Um, this is a very good example of just how bad it can be. Sometimes I see it all caked around the inside of the fill spot here also. And, uh, but this is a very good example. This is pretty packed in here. And uh, this one is obviously a um, senior's car where they don't drive much or they have driving short trips. So you get that natural condensation in the crankcase from the heat cycles and from the air that's drawn in, maybe humid, and if you don't drive long enough, you're gonna, not going to be able to burn off that uh, uh, humidity in there, that condensation. So you'll get this as the steam, I guess you could say, and oil vapors rise, and they'll come to this point right here, and they'll kind of pack in and uh, get pretty nasty. So it's nothing to worry about. Um, it's common in all cars that are in a cold climate. For an extended period of time. Now, if you drive, you know, an hour or two to work every day, and um, you know it gets nice and hot for an extended period of time, you still have that. There may be an issue with a um, a coolant leak into the oil passages, but uh, easy way to check for that is to pull your dipstick and check it, and you'll be able to tell if it's milky or if it's just um, clear golden oil, and that'll give you a good indication there. Um, Usually when you have a head gasket leak, it leaks into the cylinder, and then you have a, either a misfire on startup or um, you know, a lot of white smoke. More than uh, what's less common is the actual crack in the block, and then uh, you know, you got your oil and coolant mixture going on. Now if you're real concerned about it, and uh, it's been a while since, uh, and it seems abnormally uh, large amount of uh, condensation build up in there, but you know it's not a head gasket leak because you ain't got none of those issues I just described. And of course your coolant jug is full and never really changes. Um, what you want to look at is your PCV valve. If it hasn't been changed in a while, you're going to need to make sure you change that. Because um, that's what vents all those vapors out of there. Oil and, uh, and uh, water vapors also. So the crankcase oil does not become acidic. Which brings me to my next point is that if you are driving only you know 500 miles a thousand miles and it's all these short two mile trips uh, within a three month uh, period for an oil change you really should still change the oil because of all the acids that are produced because you're driving these short trips and you got that water mixing with the oil so you're actually doing more damage by doing those short trips and by not driving it and uh, not changing your oil so just because you're at you know 1200 miles in three months you should still change the oil because that oil is basically unusable now and uh, acidic. Now the new oils nowadays they're a lot more uh, resistant to that but it still happens and it's still a good practice to do. Okay so that's about it. Um, I just wanted to go over it real quick because I get a lot of questions about it and um, I've even gotten questions from mechanics that have moved from a warmer climate to a colder climate and just had never seen this before and start to kind of freak out. It's nothing to worry about. Um, just do those few basic checks I talked about and uh, you should be set to go.